Ciao guys and welcome back and if you are new my name is Luca, thank you to be here. In today's video I would like to share with you my personal opinion regarding the differences uh, between the contacts Zeiss and the Leica R lenses that I use uh, most of the time for video but also for photography. Stay tuned. In the past I have already showed you the visual differences between these two lenses and if you didn't see it you can check in my channel, I uh, will put the link somewhere here. And in this video I would like to explain you what are the differences between these two sets of lenses that I own. Regarding the contact Zeiss lenses I have used the 25, 28, 35, 85 f2.8 and the 50mm f1.4 plus the zoom 80-200 f4 while uh, with the Leica R I have used the 24mm f2.8 and the Zoom Micron 35 90 mm So what are the main differences that I noticed while working with both set of lenses? First of all, the contact Zeiss lenses are really easy to operate as a one-man band because the focus throw is pretty short uh, they all have around 60 degrees to 180 degrees focus throw and that's quite easier if you work uh, just uh, by yourself so without any focus puller. puller while with the Leica R mostly the Zoom Micron and also the Elmarit 28, 35 and uh, the 90 millimeters they have a way longer focus throw around 270 degrees so if you are a solo operator and you are trying to do long focus pull it can be a little bit tricky uh, while tracking your subject and moving your camera so i think that the leica r are a little bit uh, more complicated to use as a one-man band while the contact size are way easier regarding the build construction i consider the contact size more solid mostly because they don't have the inbuilt lens hood like uh, the Leica R lineup, mostly the modern ones like Tricam. And uh, I found out that this inbuilt lens hood can be a little bit fragile and sometimes it can get stuck or it can break, but you can still operate the lens. It's just a minor thing, but I consider the contact size uh, better built. The third difference is the lens flare control from these lenses. The contact size can control lens flares way better than the Leica R, Mostly because the Leica R don't have any coating that will uh, protect from the lens flares. And that can uh, create beautiful images and really cinematic flares. But on the other hand, you have to be careful uh, from all the source of light you have in your scene. Because they can be really distracting and can take out the attention from your main subject. So, in my opinion, the contact size are still easier to operate than the Leica R. The fourth difference between these two lenses is how the color match. If you want to have an easy life in post-production, I would say go with the contact Zeiss because they are almost uh, color matched, uh, except some slight difference in contrast between some. Uh, with the Leica R, good luck with them because they all have a different uh, tint and color temperature. Uh, even if you're looking for the same serial numbers, uh, you can have the problem that some are different. I don't know why, but it is how it is, and so it's up to you. Still talking about colors, another difference is the color saturation, and mostly in the skin tones. The contact Zeiss have a stronger saturation in the red channel, so in the skin tones, while the Leica R have a subtle saturation in the red channel but they still maintain a good saturation in the whole spectrum of colors, except the red. So they reproduce uh, more pleasing skin tones. Uh, that's why uh, the Leica R are uh, more common in uh, filmmaking, because they render skin tones a little bit uh, better. But they don't respect the reality. So I would say that the contact eyes are literally reflecting what you can see with your eyes while the Leica R have a more pleasing looking skin tones for uh, some type of projects. These are my personal opinion guys so if you are thinking to spend serious money on these lenses please first try them from a friend and see if there is love between you and the lenses so don't waste your money without trying them first. Soon I will release new videos where I talk specifically about each lens that I have. So if you have any question, please write down in the comment below uh, what you want to know so I can take care for the upcoming videos. And I hope that the video was helpful and uh, I hope I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, guys.
Tchau. 